John Blyfer, also known as John Melvin Blyfer, was an American actor whose career began at the very tail end of the silent film era, and lasted all the way through the mid-1980s. He appeared on the big screen in feature films and film serials, and on the small screen in a number of television series and miniseries. Blyfer also acted on stage, and appeared in several Broadway productions. Life in career. John Melvin Blyfer was born on July 26, 1901, in Zawiasi, Poland. After moving to the United States, he began his acting career in 1927, with a small role in the Edward Sloman film, Surrender. Over the course of his career, he would appear in well over 100 films, serials, television shows and Broadway plays. His European accent allowed him to play several different nationalities, while using essentially the same accent. Blyfer did not make many silent films, but his career took off in 1933, after the advent of sound pictures. Blyfer appeared in dozens of films during the 1930s, mostly in smaller uncredited roles, such as in Blood Money starring George Bancroft, Howard Hawke's 1937 war film The Road to Glory, starring Frederick March, Warner Baxter, and Lionel Barrymore, Ladies in Love, a 1936 romantic comedy starring Janet Gaynor, Constance Bennett, and Loretta Young, the romantic comedy The Baroness and the Butler starring William Powell and Annabella, and the comedy drama Everything Happens at Night starring Sonia Henning, Ray Milland, and Robert Cummings. He did have a number of featured roles during the decade as well, including as Dr. Alexander Dexter in Night Alarm, a 1934 drama, the role of Chenille Dew in the 1935 version of Les Miserables, starring Frederick March and Charles Lawton, Ludwig in 1937's Charlie Chan at Monte Carlo with Warner Roland in the title role, and as Wendling in the 1937 installment of the Mr. Moto series, Mr. Moto Takes a Vacation, starring Peter Lorre. Blyfer also appeared on stage during the 1930s, including the 1932 Broadway production of Clear All Wires, in the role of Sozanoff which he would reprise the following year in the similarly titled film Clear All Wires, starring Lee Tracy, Benita Hume, Una Merkel, and James Gleason. The 1940s saw Blyfer's career continue on the same path he had taken in the prior decade. He had numerous small roles, many nameless and uncredited, as in Archie Mayo's 1940 version of Four Sons, starring Don Amesher, the war film Paris Calling, starring Basil Rathbone, Randolph Scott, and Elizabeth Bergner, the comedy They Got Me Covered, starring Bob Hope and Dorothy Lamour, Mr. Lucky, starring Cary Grant and Lorraine Day, the classic For Whom the Bell Tolls, starring Gary Cooper and Ingrid Bergman, and the 1946 comedy Without Reservations, starring John Wayne and Claudette Colbert. He also had several featured roles, such as Pedro in the classic 1940 swashbuckler, The Mark of Zorro, starring Tyrone Power, as Oscar Zimmerman in the spy drama Waterfront, starring J. Carol Nish and John Carradine, and as Franz Lieber in the Bowery Boys comedy, Smuggler's Cove. During this decade Blyfer appeared in several film serials, including Perils of Nyoka and Secret Service in Darkest Africa. In 1944 Blyfer appeared in the role of Lo Paquin in the successful Broadway production of Anton Chekhov's The Cherry Orchard at the National Theatre, a role he would reprise for a short run the following year at New York City Center. During the 1950s Blyfer's film career slowed down as he became more involved with the new medium of television. He only had a few featured roles in film, such as in Lou Landers' State Penitentiary, starring Warner Baxter, where Blyfer had the role of Jailbreak Jimmy, and in the role of Jake Haberman in the 1957 police drama Chain of Evidence. 
He continued to appear in smaller roles in a number of features, including the 1951 Humphrey Bogart film Noir, Sirocco, 1953's The Juggler, starring Kirk Douglas and directed by Edward Dimitrik, the 1955 musical Kismet, starring Howard Keel and Anne Blythe, the 1955 Bowery Boys comedy, Spy Chases, the 1957 musical Silk Stockings, starring Fred Astaire and Keith Sherris, and Edward Dimitrix 1959 remake of The Blue Angel. In the 1950s Blyther appeared in numerous television shows, such as Dangerous Assignment, Navy Log, I Love Lucy, The Count of Monte Cristo, The Adventures of Jim Bowie, Shirley Temple's Storybook, Perry Mason, Peter Guns, and Rawhide. Blyther continued working through the 1960s, 1970s, and into the 1980s. He made numerous television appearances on shows such as Death Valley Days, The Lawless Years, The Untouchables, Dr. Kildare, The Man from Uncle, Marcus Welby, M.D., Adam 12, Kolchak, The Night Stalker, S.W.A.T., Policewoman, Little House on the Prairie, The White Shadow, and Highway to Heaven. Blyfer also appeared in the television miniseries QB7, in the role of Ben Dan. While his activity in films decreased, he did continue in the medium, with roles in such films as The Tobacconist in the 1962 comedy If a Man Answers, starring Bobby Darren and Sandra D, The Steward in the Hook starring Kirk Douglas, a small role in W.C. Fields and Me, starring Rod Steiger and Valerie Perrine, as Mishka in F.I.S.T., starring Sylvester Stallone, Rod Steiger, and Peter Boyle, and as one of the rabbis in the Robert Aldrich comedy, The Frisco Kid, starring Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford. Blyther's final performance was in the featured role of Hyman in 1986's Inside Out, starring Elliot Gould. Blyther died on January 24, 1992 in Los Angeles County, California, and was interred in the Hillside Memorial Park, in Culver City, California, next to his wife, Grace, who had died three years previously, in 1989. Filmography Kismet the 27th Day, Silk Stockings, We Americans, Blood Money, Captured, The Bowery, Clear All Wires, Manhattan Melodrama, Hell in the Heavens, Night Alarm, The Lineup, Black Fury, Les Miserables, The Black Room, The Crimson Trail, Sutter's Gold, 15 Maiden Lane, The Road to Glory, Ladies in Love, 36 Hours to Kill, Slave Ship, Thank You, Mr. Moto, Thin Ice, Seventh Heaven, Love Under Fire, Charlie Chan at Monte Carlo, Ride a Crooked Mile, The Baroness and the Butler, Sharpshooters, Mr. Moto Takes a Vacation, Full Confession, Pacific Liner, Pack Up Your Troubles, Frontier Marshal, Boyfriend, Everything Happens at Night, Girl from God's Country, The Mark of Zorro, Four Sons, Mr. District Attorney in the Carter Case, The Monster and the Girl, Berlin Correspondent, Blue, White and Perfect, Eagle Squadron, Lure of the Islands, Paris Calling, For Whom the Bell Tolls, Hedden, For God's Country, Mr. Lucky, The Moon is Down, Night Plane from Chunking, They Got Me Covered, Background to Danger, In Our Time, Dragon Seed, the Conspirators, The Mask of Demetrios, Waterfront, Tonight and Every Night, Rendezvous 24, The Wife of Monte Cristo, Without Reservations, Fall Guy, High Conquest, Northwest Outpost, The Enchanted Valley, French Leave, Sixteen Fathoms Deep, Smuggler's Cove, Call Northside 777, Bride of Vengeance, Come to the Stable, The Jackpot, The Killer That Stalked New York, The Petty Girl, State Penitentiary, Bowery Battalion, Sirocco, Aladdin and His Lamp, Red Snow, The Juggler, White Lightning, Spy Chases, Crashing Las Vegas, Fighting Trouble, World Without End, Chain of Evidence, Footsteps in the Night, 
The Blue Angel, The Gene Krupa Story, Ice Palace, The George Raft Story, If a Man Answers, The Hook, The Loved One, Heavy Traffic, W.C., Fields and Me, F.I.S.T., The Frisco Kid, Inside Out.